Hello world good morning good afternoon good evening welcome to codingscientist.com we are on lesson number 35 and i am going to talk about installing ros robotic robot operating system on the jetbot and we can do ton loads of autonomous projects using the jetbot kit itself all right guys so let's get started so in this particular uh, lesson i will actually show you how to install and set up robot operating system on the jetbot and moving forward in the next lesson uh, upcoming lessons i will show you step by step instructions to configure your jetbot to autonomously work on the robot operating system and also in the future lessons we will set up gazebos uh, simulations and stuff like that so you will not require any other physical devices apart from the jetbot kit with jetson nano 4 gb ram of course so that's very important guys now uh, i will walk you through some basic configurations and setup to install uh, ros but before we proceed further most important thing unplug your gpio pins from the jetbot so let me show you how to do that uh, so that you guys will have an idea let me switch over the video So if you look at my jetbot which is connected right now I removed the GPIO pins from the PCA9685 motor driver all right one second I hope you guys can see this yes can you see this this basically connects here so you got to unplug this and also make sure that your battery is switched off okay and you need to connect to the barrel jack uh, the barrel jack the power adapter uh, for Jetson Nano so that's what we will be using here okay it's very important during the installation process you are connected to the power adapter which comes along with the jetson developer kit okay so connect to that connect to your hdmi uh, monitor and the bluetooth uh, keyboard all right so that's where we will be uh, setting up our uh, robot operating system at least for next couple of lessons and once i tell you that's the time we got to connect this and uh, operate it remotely so for now just go ahead and unplug it it's very important do not switch on the battery guys do not switch on the battery all right so let's see what we have let me move on to let me just uh, share my jetson screen so this is where i have logged into my jetson nano and i have also opened up my manual the most important aspect of this tutorial is the manual right now what we need to do let's take a look at our manual first and let's look at the first command sudo apt add repository universe so let me just copy this or you can even type it i'm going to leave the manual with you guys copy and then run this command what's happening why i'm not able to paste this is weird let me just copy this again sudo apt add repository universe okay this is the ubuntu package all right now let's run this and it says the distribution component is already enabled for all source which is a good news which comes as part of your jet back now let me go and grab this command sudo apt add repository multiverse all right follow the exact thing what i am doing guys all right and again the distribution component is already enabled all right which is good it's good that we are using the latest uh, jetbot uh, jetpack and now we need to rip add the repository for restricted okay there you go and this is already enabled as well it's better to confirm always 
and now let's let's go and uh, uh, initiate the ROS repository to add the apt sources which is basically the key which is basically the license key which we get it from uh, ROS dot uh, uh, org uh, wiki site so that's where I grab this key from let's copy this entire thing do not even forget to copy the entire line guys it's very important or the command will not execute all right copy this put it here on the terminal and press enter good it's accepted now i am saying it's accepted because there is no error right or it's, or else you you can see bunch of errors on the terminal if there is no error that's a good news now let's move on and add the license key let me copy this command entire license key command and put it on the terminal okay it's executing which is good it's gonna take some time to run the entire stuff let me just check let me just drag it above and see what's happening all right this is done now let me just clear the terminal clear let's move on to the next okay now what do we have all right let's update sudo apt get update we need to update the system once you install the key ros key sudo apt get update i think it's a get update right let me just double check sudo apt get update that's correct And now your Ubuntu system, the packages gets updated in Jetson Nano with the ROS package getting compiled along with your Ubuntu operating system, or the key which we used in the previous command. So that's what is happening. So it, this is going to take a couple of minutes, not much. Yes, it's done. Let me clear this. All right. Now let's go to the next okay now we are going to install the actual package which is ross melodic which is a supported uh, version for jetson nano and that is what we are going to do in this particular command we are going to install ross melodic uh, melodic uh, base all right there you go package is installing it's running smooth and it will ask do you want to continue you need to press yes continue and this is going to continue for a while you got to be patient guys it, it takes uh, you know a couple of minutes ross uh, melodic version doesn't take much time though but yeah it, it depends upon the network uh, you are in but in the next next to next lesson when we start installing jetson uh, inference and the ai stuff combined with uh, ROS, that's going to take at least an hour or so probably more so i'm going to talk about that systematically in the next uh, video so let's get this installed and keep uh, ROS uh, melodic version ready on our jetson jetpot yeah 99 percent so far so good there is no error which is a good news you got to let it run guys so do not interrupt on the terminal do not uh, you know press any key you got to just leave it running till you get your uh, user id at the end all right it's it's almost there it's almost there all right so it's almost it's done guys so now what we need to do we need to basically add ROS it's installed but but we haven't configured yet so we need to now uh, add the ROS path to the environment variables in Jetson Nano. That's what we will, we will be doing in the next command. 
and that's part of our uh, amazing manual which we prepared i'm going to let me just clear this clear and let me pull this down so that you guys can see i'm going to put this command which is the variables so we are going to set the path for the ROS where we installed on Jetson Nano. Let's see what happens. It's accepted. All right, guys. So now what we need to do now you have your uh, uh, ROS installed and we have set up the variables and your environment is ready. OK, now what we need to do, we need to just close the terminal. All right. And restart the machine. You got to just close it and restart the machine. You got to re when I say machine, it's your Jetson Nano. It's your jet, jet bot, basically your Jetson Nano. So you got to reboot it and keep it ready and i'm going to be back soon in the next lesson what we are going to do is start uh, configuring our motors to communicate with uh, ross so let me show you how to do that i'll be back soon bye bye